what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, if you are looking for day three of power cruise here's the video right here So all in all, Power Cruise was a huge success. Um, some people that I got to thank, first and foremost, obviously, Carl Thomas. He helped me out uh, making the, uh, getting the Corvette clutch in and uh, wouldn't be able to do it without him. So thank you, Carl. And uh, thank you to Jordan, Alex, and everybody else who went with um, supporting me and uh, just having a good time. Uh, me and Jordan busted out some late nights editing and getting videos out and everything for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. So... Before Power Cruise, I put on a bumper reinforcement kit uh, on the C6 um, because I did. I started doing some research as soon as I put the front splitter on, and I was reading that if you put that front splitter on uh, and you do a bunch of pulls like above 100 miles an hour constantly, it puts a lot of downforce on the front bumper, which then kind of gives it that smiley face look. So if you're looking. If you're looking at the front bumper of the car, basically what everybody is saying is when when you get a bunch of wind coming in, it pushes down right here, and without the reinforcement, it's not really that strong right here, which then makes this gap wide. So then that's where the bumper reinforcement comes into play. I already have the bumper reinforcement in, so it's I can tell it's a lot stiffer um, than what it usually is if if I didn't have that bumper reinforcement in doing this it would flex and it doesn't now where I got the bumper reinforcement piece was from C7 carbon uh, so if you're looking to get one go ahead check them out there's a bunch of different designs of the bumper reinforcement so uh, I just went with the C7 carbon one but all in all, it's actually really super easy to install. So basically, I just wanted to explain how to install it, even though I already have it installed, which I kind of wish I would have made this video while I was installing it to show you guys better. But I just wanted to make a video to show you guys how easy it really is to install this. Um, so basically, first step, uh, you have to take the bumper cover off. I don't think there's any way that you can do it without it. If somebody does know a way to do it without it, uh, please comment. I would absolutely love to hear uh, how you do that. Okay, so you got the bumper cover off. It's actually pretty easy on these to take them off. But you got the bumper cover off, and hopefully you have a blanket or something to put it on and not just put it on the ground. But you have it off, and you put the piece... So when you get the bumper reinforcement piece, basically you put it behind here. It goes around this whole area right here. And it doesn't come with any hardware, at least the one from the C7 Carbon. But basically what you do is there's holes. When you go to put it in, there's holes that line up perfectly with the hardware that you use for the front splitter. So basically what you're doing is you're taking the hardware from your splitter you're taking them out and then you're just putting putting that bump that reinforcement piece in and then putting the bolts for your front splitter back in and that'll hold it now you can add more you can drill more holes you can go as crazy as you really want to but um i'll be honest with you once it's once you got it bolted in it's not going to go anywhere so i mean it's certainly up to you if you want to add Gorilla Tape, Super Glue, uh, 
whatever you want. I don't know. I mean, you, you get as crazy as you want with it. I know that there is a video out there of somebody putting one on, and I think he added some more hardware on the top part. So you could certainly do that, and I think he added some stuff on the sides as well. But like I said, it's not going to go anywhere. As soon as you put it on there, get it bolted down, you're good. Also, of course, I want to thank you guys, every single one of you who subscribe, watch my videos. Um, I really appreciate it. You guys know I would be absolutely nothing without you guys. So, uh, like, literally. So, thank you. Uh, keep subscribing. Keep watching. I really appreciate it. But, yeah, I just wanted to come on here, thank everybody, uh, everybody that I know, everybody that I don't know who watched my videos, everybody who's helped me out. Uh, like I said, Carl, Thomas, he got the clutch in for me before Power Cruise. He knew I, need, I needed it done before because I wanted to take my car. And he also dyno-tuned it, got more power out of it. So, of course, got to thank him. But, guys, we have a lot of stuff looking forward to. Um, the Trailblazer SS is getting some stuff done to it. And uh, we have some stuff for the Corvette as well. And, I mean, it's just going to keep going and going. So, if you like the content and you like what we're doing on the channel, just feel free to hit the, that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah. And, guys, you know, of course, I got to give Jordan a shout-out. Uh, without him, I don't know where the channel would be uh, without his help. And through Power Cruise, he didn't have to, but... He took time to take videos, pictures, everything for the videos and stayed up late and edited them all and everything. So thank you, Jordan, so much. But that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you liked it. Uh, hope you share it. And uh, I hope you subscribe. Uh, like I said, we got a bunch of stuff coming up. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye out. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.